Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at setting up a GitHub webhook and why you'd want to do it and where we can direct it to. But first, before we move any further, I would like to thank my channel members. These people help support me and they also get a special little badge next to their name that says, I support this guy. I am better than you. Not because I support him. Anyway, let's get into the video. Now, number one reason for why you might want to use a GitHub workbook is so you can then track in a different place. For example, I track my GitHub repositories on my Discord server under GitHub stuff. Now, this is so people can see when I'm doing something and updating something. For example, back when I first set up the channel, uh, the, well, this channel, you could see I was doing some scripting for my Wine Bleeding Edge repository, as well as Stable. And it, if, for example, if you were to click this, it would then take you through. Grab the link because I opened it in the wrong window. It would then take you through to this. That is an example of just changing things around. Okay, right, thank you for that there. Firefox. Oh, but it changes it around. So, but yeah, but let's get it set up first now. To do this, we're going to need to look at, it can also have do that as well. It, this as well being, it sends every, um, everything that happens. So, first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up a Firefox. And we're going to choose a repository. Now, in this case, I do not believe I have the MK Ultra box. So, first thing we do is edit channel, integrations, webhooks. Linux XP templates, we'll just get hard by. Oh, MK Ultra is there. But I don't believe I have it set up. Of my Git repository. So I don't have MK Ultra here. I don't have the MK Ultra Discord bot here. So let's grab that and make some changes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the webhook just so I can show you from start to finish. So, webhooks. I do not know why there's two. It's delete webhook. Uh, use GitHub is a good thing. Uh, this is a one-time code, so it will be different. But what it's doing is it's just sending a pseudo mode request, and it's asking me to type in the number, which is that. I can show you that because it's not going to be the same. And sometimes it will do different things. But that's, that's fine. Uh, yes, delete the webhook. So, we have no webhook here. Fresh. Hooks. We have no webhooks here. So, we want to open up the Discord. And we want to hit the edit channel, integrations, webhooks. And I'm just going to. Uh, when you click new webhook, it just goes, creates a silly bot name, and you can choose a channel. But for now, we're just going to. Click delete because I don't need that. So we'll copy this webhook. If you are using Discord, for example, what you need to do is click add webhook, uh, JSON, paste, slash, GitHub. So Discord knows that it is going to be sent to, is being sent from GitHub, so as to put it in the format of what is shown. So once we do that, we click add changes. This little green tick here says, hey, look, this was successful, sending this was successful. So that's good. Now that we've done that, um, we can then come here and we will see there's nothing new popped up. What that's done is just, it's just sent a quick, hey, look, can I talk to this request? And in this case, it has. So that's all set up. Now, what we will do is we're going to uh, go code, SSH, copy, throw ourselves a terminal. Oh, full screen, zoom in a bit. Git. Want to click paste. Then, uh, git clone. And I'll then pull it into the repository which didn't previously exist there, so MK Ultra. You see the MK. Enter ls. 
play, and then let's just make a quick change. So read me. So, uh, nano, read me. I'm just using nano because I can. Uh, this includes markdown because it's a .md file, which nano shows, which I like. It's port server, invite link for inviting it. And then we want to do... Uh, Now that we've done that, we do control X, Y, enter. And referring to a previous video of mine that shows you how to do this, we want to do git add, but rather than add over date, it needs to commit forward. Uh, git commit hyphen M, uh, added line, with end text, apostrophe, get enter. One file change to insertions. Now that we've done that, we do git push. And what that'll then do is then send all of that up to GitHub. And what Discord will do is if we come here and then refresh, changed just now. And if we come to GitHub stuff, as we can see, it passes it through to here. So anything that can accept a webhook will also accept the Discord, or will accept uh, the uh, GitHub. There we go. GitHub uh, web hooking system. So now that it's all here, and it all functions. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Uh, they both seem to work, even though you can only see one of them. I can see both. Uh, if you remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.